Hello wrestlers, coaches, and fans. I'm Coach Fiorito, and this is Wrestling Mastery, where I break down mastery level technique performed by the best in the world. In this video, we're going to focus on the snapdown. At the highest level, nearly all top tier wrestlers incorporate the snapdown within their hand fighting arsenal, and I'm going to show why it should be a part of yours. And remember, technique is about finding the variation that not only works for you, but works for you consistently. That's why I chose to highlight this fact with a wrestler that relies heavily on his unique variation of the snapdown. When Haji Ailev is firing on all cylinders, there's really nothing he can't do, but most of his offense is centered around his punishing use of the snapdown. With his constant barrage of snapdowns, he turns a 6 minute match into a 12 minute match for his opponents, taking them into deep waters and seeing who can swim the longest. This wear and tear opens up a variety of attacks. I'm going to cover how to hand fight into ties and key positions to set up the snapdown, and also show the multiple attacks that can stem from it. Haji Aliyev representing Azerbaijan is one of my favorite wrestlers to watch and he's been a force in the sport for some time now. Having won three European championships, a Euro Games gold, 2016 Olympic bronze medalists, and being a three-time world champion in 2014, 2015, and 2017. He's competed most of his career at 61 kilograms and has moved up to 65 kilograms. Look for him to represent Azerbaijan at the 2021 Tokyo Olympics. Quick shout out to my Dundee Highlanders and let's get into the technique. To help illustrate the unique variation of Haji Aliyev's snapdown, we're going to start off with a more straightforward approach used by two-time world champion and Olympic champ, Kyle Snyder. Before we even think about snapdown, you have to hand fight into your preferred tie. As Akaguma posts on the head, Snyder simply grabs on to control the wrists and as Akaguma clears, a window opens for Snyder to club into his collar tie. A key to securing and maintaining a good tie is creating an unobstructed entry into the position. Snyder posts on the head, Akaguma grabs onto the wrist, Snyder lowers, peels off, and holds on for that unobstructed entry. Another key to hand fighting success is to be more calculated. Chain wrestling applies to every facet, even having counter movements. Akaguma posts with his left hand, Snyder controls the wrist, and as he feels an entry, Akaguma blocks it off with the wrist control. Yet Snyder counters, following through with an arm snap, leaving an opening for a hard club with his right hand. Then an overtie snap, breaking the tie for a clear entry back into the collar tie. Three moves deep, just to fight into position. Fighting for your tie should be a never ending battle. These three sequences happening in the opening 14 seconds of the match. Let's see how that constant pressure can wear your opponent down and open up offensive scores. A little later in the match, same path to the collar, Snyder reaches for the head, Akaguma blocks it off, Snyder counters, arm snapping all the way through, clearing the wrist control, opening up a hard club to a collar on the other side, Akaguma jockeys for position while Snyder loads up, steps back, and an overtie snaps, driving off the inside leg, transferring the weight to the outside leg, clearing the path back to the collar tie. Akaguma, thinking snap, leaves himself open for a toe step snatch single, Snyder elevates the leg with shoulder pressure and covers for the takedown. From the top, countering a counter, hard club to a collar, overtie snap, back to a lefty collar, straight in, level change, snatch single, elevate, and finish. Let's take a deep dive into the key aspects of performing the snapdown. First, you have to understand the snapdown is the jab of wrestling. As the match goes on, the more effective the versatility of the snapdown. It can be used to keep your opponent honest and throw off their attacks, used defensively, used to break your opponent's will, and to set up and open up your offense. It all starts by fighting into your tie and loading up forward pressure into your opponent. From a lefty collar tie and resting over tie, Snyder is going to extend the right arm so that he can bring it back down with momentum to the back of the head. It's all about creating as much downward momentum in as short amount of time as possible. So notice, with the head start of the right extended arm, Snyder also brings his left arm collar tie down. His opponent had wrist control, so it extends his arm downwards. Snyder lastly is looking down, ensuring the full weight of his trunk is in his over tie snap. All this in the blink of an eye is going to snap your opponent to the mat. Of course, this is everything happening upstairs. Just as important is combining it with proper footwork. Using reverse psychology, Snyder lowers his right arm, which encourages Gatisov to secure a collar tie, allowing Snyder to reach in and secure his overtie at the head. As Snyder reaches for the overtie, I want you to notice how he sags into position. Combined with forward pressure, this creates downward pressure and gets Gatisov's trunk more parallel with the mat. The overtie is extended and ready to fire back with momentum to the head, and this may look subtle here, but it's critical to drive backwards off the inside leg and transfer the weight to the back leg. And you'll see here, the transfer doesn't start until he drives off the leg with full extension. Lastly, a good visual of what's really going on when combining the upper body snap with the footwork is you're driving off and creating a void. As long as you beat your opponent's step, they'll fall into that void with their hands. 
From the top, Snyder is going to pressure in and get his preferred tie, sag into position, over tie snap, combined with driving off inside leg, Gatisov is forced to go to his hands. Now let's see how hand fighting and snap downs can lead to offense. After a whole first period of snap downs, 10 seconds into the second, Snyder creates an entry into his collar tie. Gatisov tries to beat the snap by stepping first and bracing for impact. But instead of a snap down, Snyder drops in for an ankle pick. Snyder releases the pressure built into the lefty collar. A reaction as a reaction, Gatisov ends up out of position, leaving an opening for Snyder to transition into a single. Securing two arms elbow deep on the single with great head position, driving up with that head position as Gatisov tries the limp knee out of the single. Snyder climbs up into a body lock, lifting and driving for the takedown. From the top, fighting into a lefty collar, Gatisov steps to defend snap. Snyder counters with an ankle pick to a single, driving up to a body lock, driving for the takedown. It's time to get into Haji Aliyev's unique variation of the snapdown. Pay attention to the same principles being applied, just in a different manner. We'll start with fighting for ties. As Rashidov goes for a post, Aliyev simply beats him inside to get his lefty collar. Notice the forward pressure and sagging into position, which leads to a snap. Again, as Rashidov goes for a post, Aliyev beats him inside to the collar. Forward pressure and sag, look how parallel Rashidov's trunk is to the mat. Snap. Rashidov gets his post at the shoulder, Aliyev counter hand fights with a post and a back step. As Rashidov post slips off, Aliyev has a clear path to club into his collar. Aliyev posts the shoulder, ties up hands with his left, lowers grip, clears his hand, hard clubs into his lefty collar, forward pressure and sags into position. Rashidov has a heavy underhook with control of the head, Aliyev extends his arm, rotates his trunk, slipping his elbow inside and ending up with a collar, stepping in with forward pressure and starts to sag. Rashidov gets an overtie at the wrist and clears the collar. Aliyev arm snaps to clear wrist control, leaving an entry back into his lefty collar. Another cleared collar by Rashidov. Aliyev wax on, wax off, clears the wrist, hard club back to the collar. Now we'll break down the keys for performing Aliyev's snap down. Let's start with what's happening upstairs. As Haji fights back into his collar tie, he loads up some forward pressure, and Aliyev really sags, making his opponents carry his weight. To counter that pressure, his opponents tend to post or hang on with the collar tie. You'll see, as Aliyev begins to snap, at the same time, he'll clear that post or collar tie with an arm snap from wrist control. Along with snapping off the tie, Haji gets a lot of downward momentum by rotating his torso nearly 90 degrees. By doing that, you can see his ear in the bicep of his left arm and the right elbow to the sky. Stemming from the collar, Aliyev sets a fairly wide base. This ensures hard transfer from his inside leg to his outside leg. Before he snaps, he'll take a back step with the outside leg, and his aim is to fill the void with his opponent. As he drives off the inside leg to transfer the weight, he also arm snaps any ties. Along with clearing the tie, he's snapping hard from his lefty collar by rotating his torso with a level change. Can't see but his ear is nearly in his bicep and his elbow pointing to the sky. Haji's preferred attack is a slick go behind and he's perfected his path to get there. From the collar with forward pressure and a sag, Aliyev begins his snap with an outside set, transferring the weight with level changing hard and trunk rotation as he snaps with the lefty collar. You can see with the high pointing elbow. Once we shoot off his snap, his target is the back ankle. By hooking on to the upper lat, Haji can take an aggressive line to go for it. You can see how by hooking on, he can redirect the momentum of his attack to get a better angle to score. Let's see this attack from another angle. Aliyev drives in forward pressure with his back leg. This turns Rashidov's staggered stance to square. Before snapping him into the void, Aliyev takes an outside step, driving off the inside leg, transferring his weight to the outside leg. This is a great angle to see the snap from the lefty collar, ear to the bicep, trunk rotation with level change. Full rotation causes a high pointing elbow. Once Rashidov is snapped to the mat, Aliyev targets that back ankle. By hooking onto the lat, he can take that aggressive line, leaping from both feet, using the hook lat and secured ankle to redirect the momentum from the leap to get a better angle to score. Rashidov, being world class himself, is already in a position to defend. Aliyev driving with shoulder position, readjusts back inside, and for better control, Aliyev keeps Rashidov on one foot. Keeping the foot elevated, Aliyev can better dictate where the scramble ends up. Finally ending up perpendicular, with the ankle, he fights to the outside hip and runs him down for the takedown, with extra effort getting a gut wrench at the edge of the mat. Forward pressure with the collar, outside step, weight transfer snap, hooks lat, redirects, attacks ankle, scrambles, back into position, drives in for the takedown, never stop wrestling, tacks on a gut wrench, 4 points. At this angle, we can see how seamless this attack can be. Aliyev jockeys into his collar, and by tying up his opponent's wrist and keeping it low, notice how that can help keeping his opponent parallel to the mat. 
Hits his outside step, driving hard off the inside leg, weight transfer to the outside leg, ear to the bicep, rotating torso with level change. And from this angle, you can see how flawless his footwork goes from snap to go behind. As soon as he's fully extended off his inside drive leg, he transitions his footwork to attack his go behind. Taking that aggressive line because he's hooked on the lat, redirecting for a better angle of attack, fighting inside and scoring the takedown. One more time at full speed. Now a little harder fought finish, this sequence starts with an outside step snap with an arm snap, maintaining the lefty collar, the outside step snaps again with an arm snap. Once he drives off fully on that inside leg, he transitions his footwork to attack a go behind, hooking the lat, takes an aggressive line, opponent defends well, Aliyev isolates the ankle and as his opponent tries to extend away, he helps Aliyev elevate into a double position, driving to the edge of the mat, not settling for just a push out, adjusts and scores two for the takedown. These next few sequences will focus on an attack that goes hand in hand with the snap down. Forcing a level change with snap downs is going to wear your opponent down and eventually break their position. Aliyev snaps but notice how he maintains downward pressure on the head. As he releases that pressure, he level changes and fires off a double. Getting his opponent this out of position is a culmination of the work he put into the hard hand fighting and the snap downs before. He transitions into great position to score, elbow deep in the leg, ear glued to the hip, drives him down for the takedown. Again at full speed. This next double, Aliyev disguises it well with similar footwork to a snap. Aji fights for a collar and takes that outside step, but instead of a heavy snap, he simply releases the collar and level changes using that outside step to drive off into a double. Ending up in great position, elbow deep on the leg, ear to the hip, elevating to score. Having a snap heavy offense, your opponents can try to catch a break. Aliyev being relentless hits a Jordan-esque blast double. If you look closely, by catching the legs before your opponent can extend them back, the momentum runs them up onto their feet, then off them. Again, Aliyev with a snap barrage and his opponent tries to take a break in front. Aliyev catches the legs and blasts him onto his feet, then off them. Aliyev also hits a variety of singles from his snap. He follows a single attempt with a snap, and look how important that drive from the inside leg is, pulling his opponent into the void, maintaining pressure on the head, then redirecting, level changing into a swing single, readjusting to get into position to score, biting to the hip, and shuffling the leg and securing the takedown. One more time at full speed. Snap redirect swing single, readjust, fight for the hip, shelf the leg, and score. Another variation of the single, Aliyev with a snap attempt followed directly by an outside step and instead of a snap down, he uses it to drive off level changing to a swing single. He did take the head with him, but notice how he used it to keep his opponent from fighting into the wizard. Post elevating, then securing two arms on the leg, elbow deep, tight to the chest, he drives to his feet, elevates, reaches in for a bars guard finish, blocking the outside leg, elevating the inside leg, and he cartwheels over the top for the score. Back from the top, outside step, level change sweep single, secure arms on the leg, elevate drive to a bars guard, cartwheel over the top. Last sequence, Hachi's opponent peels off his lefty collar, so he clubs in with his right, outside step with a level change, drives into a straight single, uses a post to help elevate, maintaining good position for the score. From another angle, Counter collar right, outside step level change, straight single, post elevate for the takedown. This wraps up my breakdown on the snap down. I hope it helps you in your pursuit of becoming a better wrestler, coach, or fan. If you've enjoyed this video, like, share, subscribe, much more content is in the pipeline. I'm just a former wrestler turned coach and this is my way of giving back to a sport that gave me so much. I'd like to take this time to give a special thanks to my first supporter on Patreon. If you'd like to support this channel, there's a link in the description below. I'm looking forward to the evolution of what wrestling mastery can be, and there's so much appreciation and motivation in knowing there's people out there getting something out of this channel. And we'll see you next time on Wrestling Mastery.